So today is March 19th, and uh, we are taking the papayas to the farm um, because it's time for them to go into the ground. See you at the farm. All right, it's June 11th, 2019. We're back out here at the farm um, to check these papayas out. So as you can see here, here are the papayas that we had um, originally first brought out here. So what happened was I chose a few papayas that I would bring out here and uh, the rest would stay at home in the pots. So I eventually did bring the other papayas uh, from home out here, but that was maybe about a month after um, after these guys were first put out here. So uh, uh, they've been out here for a couple of months now, and I would expect these papayas to be a lot bigger than they are now. And I, I realize uh, why they haven't got as big as, um, as I've expected them to get. Uh, so as you can see here, these papayas are the ones that I brought out a month later. So if I just back up here so you guys can see the size difference between these papayas, you can see that the ones that I brought out a month later are a whole lot bigger than these here. And um, there is a really important detail as to why these papayas are so much bigger than these here. And that is because this soil that these papayas, uh, this section here was actually a uh, loosened up soil. So my father-in-law was out here on the excavator and before I had even put the papayas out here, he'd loosened this soil up. So it's about, you know, four feet, three feet uh, deep um, of loosened soil. So over there with those ones, I didn't loosen the soil at all. Like I said, I just put some loose soil into a little formation of rocks and planted the, the papayas into there. Uh, so it was a big mistake on my part to not loosen the soil because as you can see, these papayas would have probably been bigger than these by now. Um, but because they're so small, I'm not sure if I'm just going to, um, if I'm just gonna take them all out uh, or maybe I'll just leave them there to see what happens with them. So I'm out here right now, um, working on the papayas, doing some pruning uh, for maximum uh, production, I guess you can say. So as you can see, a lot of these papayas vary in size, but the ones that were planted in this loosened soil um, are, are already starting to fruit. So they're starting to flower and fruits are starting to form. All right, so I'm sitting right here next to this papaya right here. And as you can see, it's not very tall. As a matter of fact, this papaya is probably only four feet tall. And you can see here that it is starting to fruit. So all of these flowers here, you can see them. That's actually a little flower. And inside of that flower is the actual papaya fruit. I'm trying to get the camera to focus here so you guys can get a good look at that. So I've seen a couple videos on YouTube, um, which is, which, you know, all these videos are great. They're really informative and uh, they're really helping me with uh, my uh, papaya production. So um, if it weren't for those videos, I wouldn't know, you know, uh, how, to, how to maximize the production of this papaya tree. So um, once again, this is, you know, I'm only in the beginning phases of learning these things uh, as far as papaya. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to continue to learn and watch watch these things happen and uh, hopefully they happen as they've been explained um, on those videos that I've watched so uh, what I've been doing here uh, as you can see I've cut down uh, the papaya branches I've cut them a little far from the uh, the trunk because I don't want to I don't want to expose the trunk and uh, risk some type of uh, rot or the papaya uh, catching some type of disease. So I've cut the branches out here and right here as you can see was not a flower So what was growing from here if you look at the top of this papaya flower right there at the top Is a little leaf the nodes are where the leaves are and at the top of each node is either a fruit or Like this a leaf and some of these leaves they look like um, they're about to extend out and be another branch uh, that could branch out here on this side this way 
and be a whole nother papaya top. So I don't know if, if any of you out there have seen um, one papaya trunk with multiple tops, but it's very common um, here in uh, Hawaii and it probably is all over the world. Uh, so what, what I'm trying to do here is cut, cutting these little uh, leaves, these little potential new necks uh, for the papaya tree. I'm taking them out so that all the nutrients that are going to supporting that will go straight into the papaya fruit itself. So um, that's what I've been doing here with all the nodes that don't have um, papaya fruits on them. I'm going on ahead and taking out those, uh, those little branches and leaves right there. So try to, I'm trying to do this as carefully as I can so I don't damage the papaya tree too much. But here's another flower here. And as you can see right there at the top is another leaf with another potential branch of the papaya trying to branch out. So if you look over here at this papaya, you can see that there are a whole bunch of those little extensions coming off of this papaya. So here's a closer look at what I'm talking about on uh, another one of the papaya trees. As you can see here, the flowers begin right up here at this node, up here. But as you go down, there are no more flowers and fruits. So all of this here below the fruit will be taken out and um, what I meant about that branching was if you look here right above this this uh, this leaf here right here is the branching I'm talking about so we don't need all of that we've got to take all that out so that all the energy that's going into supporting all these lower leaves and these little potential branches here go to the fruiting process here on these flowers. I won't be updating you uh, until these fruits actually get bigger. So I'll go ahead and post this video up so you guys can see what the papayas look like for the time being. Uh, but maybe here in a couple of months, maybe within the next month, we'll come back and I'll give you a short video showing you what the papayas look like. 